Greetings everyone, I'm here to showcase to you the life of Lincoln Alexander. Lincoln Macaulay Alexander, the first black person to become a member of parliament in the House of Commons, penetrating a boundary of disequality against black people, was born on January 21st, 1922, in a terraced home on Draper Street. He was the son of May Rose and Lincoln Macaulay Alexander Sr. He attended Earl Grey Public School, often facing racism mainly due to him being the only black people in his class. Lincoln Alexander soon received the courtesy of his classmates, whether it was by sometimes fighting with them or just gaining respect over time. It was at this time Lincoln learned to walk tall and demonstrated that he was also a human being and deserved to be treated just like anyone else. Lincoln's family moved to another area of Toronto after he graduated from Earl Grey Public School. As such, Lincoln had to attend Riverdale Collegiate, where he noted in his memoir that he was only one of the three black families in the community. Lincoln's mother moved to Harlem along with Lincoln's half-brother after Lincoln's father assaulted Lincoln's mother. Lincoln and his other brother, Huey, remained in the east end of Toronto and was cured by Sadie Downs and Rupert Downs. Eventually, Lincoln's mother had the capability to take either Lincoln or Huey to come and live with her. She chose Lincoln, leaving Huey behind. The two brothers soon grew apart. Lincoln began his new life with his mother and half-brother in New York, attending another school called DeWitt Clinton High School. In 1993, World War II had begun and his mother had sent him back to Toronto to live with his father. Lincoln met a woman named Yvonne Harrison at a dance in Toronto. Lincoln was mesmerized, wishing to marry her. However, as the war escalated, Lincoln had to leave to serve Canada in World War II in the Royal Canadian Air Force. After being discharged, Lincoln completed his studies and married Yvonne Harrison. She gave birth to a son named Kite Lincoln. On the contrary, Lincoln's mother unfortunately died, and his father committed suicide a few years later. Lincoln received a Bachelor of Arts degree from McMaster University and he then attended Osgoode Hall Law School in Toronto to become a lawyer. After graduating from the law school, Lincoln Alexander continued to practice law until he was finally designated as Queen's Counsel in 1965. Lincoln soon entered politics and ran in the federal election in the Conservative Party of Canada. However, he was defeated. He ran in the election again on June 25, 1968. He won the seat, becoming Canada's first black member of parliament. Lincoln also served briefly as a minister of labor. He remained in his seat as a member of parliament in the House of Commons for four consecutive years until he resigned in 1980. In 1985, Lincoln was appointed as a lieutenant governor of Ontario, becoming the first black person in Canada to receive a vice regal occupation. Several years later, Lincoln joined the Order of Ontario and became a Companion of the Order of Canada. He also served as a Chancellor of a University. Lincoln died in his sleep on the morning of October 19, 2012, age 90. He was known for his compassion, determination, and humility. The Legislative Assembly of Ontario declared the 21st of January of each year to be known as Lincoln Alexander Day as an honor for his services to Canada. She would be happy knowing that he is the first black person in history to walk tall and achieve his dreams. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. The end.